after Devin Hades' dominant victory over Regis Progre, he has been bolted into the top pound for pound discussion. And a lot of comparisons have been thrown out there to him and Floyd Mayweather. So I want to take a look and see if they exist. All right, here we go. Here's Floyd in the black tank top and the green gloves. Just threw a punch. His opponent, I'm not sure who his opponent is. Opponent throws a jab. Floyd with those quick reflexes bounces back. Now, this is vintage Floyd, guys. I want to say 2005-ish. A prime vintage Floyd. Just became Money Mayweather here, but still possesses some pretty boy skills, as you can see. There's Floyd. Nice little inside fighting. There he is. Classic waist movement. Remember, guys, Floyd, very slick, bending at the waist, goes all the way down there. You see it right there. Eludes punches, but stays in the pocket the whole time while he does that. Floyd putting that pressure. So what he's doing here, guys, he's not throwing a lot of punches, but he's putting on... Ooh, nice uppercut by Floyd. Ooh, there you go. Nice waist movement. Nice hook. Nice counter. Pull counters. Keeping his right hand up, blocking the hooks. Classic Floyd Philly roll. And now Floyd's saying nope, and he's laughing at the guy. He's starting his mental games. So, so Floyd gets in the opponent's head, gets him frustrated. There he's saying nope again, picking off the shots, keeping that waist movement really tight. <laughs> Looks at the camera, sticks his tongue out, really just getting in this guy's head, playing with him. Ooh, nice overhand right by Floyd. Keeping the constant waist movement, so he's, he's a moving target constantly, so he can't get hit. Oh, nice. There. Floyd also does that slight, like Shakur does. Uh, wait, he bends back just an uh, inch or two to elude a punch without going all the way down at the waist, which he also does sometimes. So now Floyd's coming at him. See, Floyd's applying pressure there. Waist movement. Remaining a moving target there. Picking off with his right hand any of the hooks that can come in. Blocking any of the straight rights with his shoulder while also moving. Ooh, there Floyd throws a punch and moves out the way. Beautiful. Classic hit and not get hit. And now Floyd's moving at this guy, walking forward, forward, forward. This applies a lot of mental pressure. Even though he's not throwing a lot of punches, he applies a lot of mental pressure. Nice uppercut by Floyd. Now he keeps the range. Floyd's keeping range beautifully now while pressing forward. There, another counter. Two jabs. Catches the guy with his head, hands down. There's Floyd, the classic waist movement. Goes very low at the waist. Um, and then comes right back up and does it quickly. There's a little lapse in the tape there. Back to normal. There's an old tape, guys. Ooh, nice hook by his opponent. Nice body work by his opponent. Ooh, his opponent moved out of a way of a couple of Floyd's counters. Yeah. So this is the one spot where the opponent's getting a little licks in here. I don't know why I said licks. Pause. Yeah, Roger, Roger Mayweather's in the way. The, the opponent ties up. Uh... This constant pressure pressure Floyd puts also wears down the opponent, mentally and physically. Nice uppercut. There's Floyd, see that? He's about to spin, it looks like. He's keeping himself ready to spin to his right. Uh, that's what it's looking like to me, but maybe not. Ooh, n nice inside fight. Ooh, nice, nice waist movement. And he's kind of, he's moving to his right. Ooh, beautiful, lean back, duck by Floyd. So Floyd's employing a lot more defense in this than offense in the sparring session. Ooh, there you go. Picked off both those left hooks to the body with his elbow. Floyd did. Ooh, nice counter. Short left hook. Ooh, short right uppercut counter. And a nice jab. Beautiful. Now Floyd's coming at him, coming at him. There. Ooh, beautiful spin right there. Like I was saying, he spins right. Waist movement spins right. Leaves himself at an angle to pop the guy with the straight right hand, too, after that happens. That left hook. There's Floyd coming at him. They're in the clinch. See, his opponent's, man, his opponent, opponent's moving pretty well at the waist. Uh, he's able to elude some of Floyd's shots here. He loses the straight right. Didn't elude that straight right, though. Ooh, and then he counters Floyd with a nice, look like a straight right, I think. Oh, now the, the opponent's standing southpaw. Maybe he was standing southpaw the whole time. Maybe I missed it, but he's throwing straight lefts now. All right, now he's back. To, okay, so yeah, he's switching from southpaw to conventional the opponent. Just peep that. Yeah, Floyd eludes that left hook. Floyd does do one two. Now Floyd's hands are down. Both of these guys are posturing. Floyd's coming at him. Beautiful duck by Floyd. Ooh, nice shoulder bump. Beautiful duck again. Nice veteran move with the shoulder bump Floyd just did. There, nice waist movement. Floyd's eluding almost all these punches. Nice. Now he's moving. He's boxing. 
dudes firing that jab, popping that stick out. Beautifully done. There you go. Floyd's just, yeah, Floyd's just getting, this is called working guy. Ooh, nice duck. He ducked that, that lead left hook really nicely. Done really well. All right, and that ends that round. All right, so now they've, they're clinching. They're, Floyd's talking to him, says that he's getting mad. Floyd's trying to get in his head. Ooh, and he does. Now this guy lunges forward. He's going at him. He's getting this guy worked up. Yeah, he's laughing, going, nope. And he's like laughing at him. Ooh, nice overhand right by his opponent. Now Floyd's just, Floyd's just basically daring him. Throw punches, I dare you. Nice uppercut, he's saying nope. So every time Floyd picks off a shot, he's telling him nope. Ooh, nice duck. See, Floyd's getting this guy to expend energy. This is the smart part. This guy's throwing hard now, which is expending energy. And Floyd's just sitting there resting. Nice spin. Nice boom. And you see that? Veteran moved. He held the glove. Veteran tactics. Span, held the glove, started punching. Floyd did. Eh, slightly illegal, I guess, but uh, not in sparring, man. It's all fair. It's actually a beautiful veteran move. Uh, tomato, tomato. All right, nice, nice jab by Floyd. Nice, nice whip-like jab Floyd has when he really pops it. See, now his opponent's a little tired, see? And he's sounding southpaw, too. If anybody knows who this is, by the way, tell me in the comments. I'm not sure who this guy is. Guy seems like he has good speed, good power, good defense, good experience. It's probably a top fighter. You just can't make it out because the footage is grainy. Guys, apologize, but again, it's old footage. Prime Floyd, though. We got Prime Floyd here. Ooh, nice duck. The guy seems to land a partial uppercut. Guy looks bigger, too, than Floyd. Mass-wise. There's a nice little uppercut by Floyd. Nice little overhand. Right, see, Floyd's expending minimal energy. Look at that spin. Spin to the left, spin to the right. Beautiful defense. Extremely slippery Floyd is in there. Nice uppercut. Nice one, two. Nice. Oh, okay. Beautiful. Now, the guy is eluding. Ooh, nice overhand right. And the guy spun on Floyd. If the guy would have fired right there, he could have hit him. The guy got a good angle on Floyd for the first time. Floyd's usually the one getting those angles. All right. Floyd's getting closer. Those are lead right. This guy has good waist movement. This guy's a good fighter. Really want to know who he is. Nice hook. Nice hook. Nice jab by Floyd. F Floyd isn't using the jab as much. Ooh, see, Floyd picked off all those body shots and countered with a with a straight right. See how Floyd leaves that right hand just relaxed. Ready to, ready to fire, but relaxed. Right by his chin. I'm a little lower than his chin now, but there's on a one, two. See, now Floyd has good range. He knows he could hit the guy. The guy can't hit him at this range. There we go. Nice body. There. Floyd did that jab to the body a lot to set up a lot of other shots. There, he picked off another left hook to the body with his elbow. Now they're just in there. They're close, close quarters. Ooh, nice hook. Very good. When they're head on shoulder, like when one guy's head's on the other guy's shoulder, all right. Well, anyway, that ends that sparring. But yeah, when, when guys are... Uh, head on the other, each guy's head is on the other guy's shoulder. That's when they're in close quarters and you see some of the best sparring because they really go at it. All right, here we go. There's Devin in the blue headgear wearing the gray long sleeve top, shirt, whatever that is. I'm not sure who he's sparring either. Um, if somebody knows in the comments, please tell me. All right, so there's Devin now. He's just waiting. Devin's a very nice jab. Nice job by Dev. Yeah, Devin's very uh, calculated. He waits. Yeah, there we go. Reactive. Jabs after the guy's jab to the body. Devin's very reactive, and he puts traps. That was a trap. Bad jab to the face, jab to the body. Then he leaps in with a punch up top because he had the guy confused. That's called mixing up the punches, going cross body, head to body, body to head. There's Devin. Devin has a slight Floyd stance. You know, it's, it's, it's similar. It's a similar stance to how Floyd stands. Similar, let's see if his defense is similar. There, he's getting low. Oh, beautiful duck and spin. Nice defensive move by, by a Devin, getting himself off the ropes. There, the jab again. That's definitely a trap. Devin has long arms, man. He's good reach, especially for a, a junior welterweight. Nice jab. There's, you see, Bill Haney, Devin's dad. Ooh, nice, nice left hook, and again, moves out. Devin's very defensive-minded, counter-minded. There he goes a little there. He does a little bit of a Floyd shoulder roll right there. 
to avoid those punches. There, those overhand right, and Devin is right out. Throws a punch, and he's and with his legs, he's right out into his range. See right there, this range, he can hit the guy. The guy can't hit him. Devin's controlling the range here, and you can tell that because he has ooh beautiful lead left hook, left hook, but he walked into a straight right as well. There's a, a straight right to the body by his opponent. There's a jab. There's a one-two by his opponent. Devin just gets his feet, takes his feet, gets him out of the way. Ooh, beautiful hook and overhand right by Devin. Beautiful, beautiful straight right to the body by his opponent. There's Devin again in the clinch, spins off, ties up. All right, nicely done. All right, so there's Devin again waiting. Devin's a very reactive fighter. You have to make the first chest, but ooh, beautiful shoulder roll and overhand right. So he rolled it and threw that, threw that pull counter. Ooh, nice straight right hook. Beautiful lead there by Devin. There Devin's back in. Ooh, ooh, beautiful combination by Devin. Beautiful combo, and then he ties up. Smart boxing. You land your punches, tie up. Beautiful combo. All right, his opponent's starting to feel himself a little bit. Probably feels a little embarrassed. And he's starting to warm up and feel it. Looks good. All right, Devin, again, very, very reactive. Waiting for the guy to make that first move. Move that pawn first. There, see that? All right, and the round ends. Yeah. All right, and Devin begins again. Touch gloves, and they start. His opponent's jabbing. Devin's staying away with his feet. Staying away with his feet. Nice jab, and he ties up. Classic boxing. The punches tie up. There's Devin again, waiting, waiting. There, he tried to pull, do a pull counter with overhand right, but missed. There, hit him with a left hook and span to his right. Spun right out. Spun, that's, I don't think span's a word. Well, not in that sense. Ooh, whatever. Worked on phonics. All right. The guy's jabbing. There's the Devin again with that body. That's very much like Floyd. Ooh, nice combo, and he backs out. So the difference is, I think, ooh, beautiful. Floyd always stayed in the pocket, didn't move his legs as much. Devin moves his hips, his waist, and his legs. Devin does a little bit of both. Um, and Devin's more more movement with his arms. His arms are moving around more. Floyd was more just pasted, you know, arms pasted, one to the body, one to his chin. Ooh, beautiful left hook lead, then uppercut, and then again, he's out. There, he's throwing the jab, the jab. So that jab to the body is a beautiful tool that Floyd uses. Ooh, nice. That was a very much Floyd-esque uh, movement. And then right glove paint pasted to the chin. Nice. Ooh, and his opponent went up and then down. See that confused? Oh, there's Devin got a nice duck under. Devin's, Devin's defense is very sharp. I never realized. Um, good, good defense. Yeah, there he shows his strength. Pushes the guy off. Ooh, nice pull counter by Devin. Overhand right, right over that jab. Very nicely done. All right, Devin's waiting, waiting. Ooh, nice a hook and then a jab. Usually it's a jab and a hook, so that was, that was that was mixing up the combination. Threw his opponent off guard. Another jab to the body. Again, constantly going up, down, just keeping him on his toes, not knowing where the punches are coming from. That's what Devin's doing. Ooh, there he tried a nice pull counter, but just missed it. Not a pull counter, but a dip and encounter. There's a nice slap there with the right hand and then hit him with the jab. Actually, no, slap him with the right hand and hit him with the straight right. Those are hard to do when you parry and punch with the same hand. There he goes, jab to the head, jab to the body. Devin's doing. He's probably gonna tie up or spin out. Yeah, span out. All right, you hear the bell's about to, round's, round's about to end. Misses a straight right, his opponent. There's Devin just circling, circling. Nice jab to the body again, keeping great range. Ooh, leaps into the hook, uppercut, and misses that overhand right, then bounces right back out of range. Catch him with overhand right coming in. So Devin is looking, ooh, beautiful, beautiful move. Keeping his back off those ropes. What we say in the gym is those, those ropes are hot. You don't want to touch them. You'll burn your back. Stay off of them. And that ends the round, and it ends the sparring. Prime Floyd Mayweather had two different personalities. You had pretty boy Floyd, who threw lots of punches, was way more active, and produced way more knockouts. But then you had Money Mayweather, who made way more money, 
but was also way more efficient with his punches. Some criticized saying he was lack, his performances were lackluster and it was a little more boring. But overall, Money Mayweather was way more successful than, than Pretty Boy Floyd and than any other fighter in history. This Floyd Mayweather was very efficient with his punches. He did not waste any punches or any movement. He was efficient with his boxing too and his footwork. Everything he did had a purpose and he never exerted himself. He threw punches with just enough speed and power to get the job done, but not too much as to it would drain him out. He was very smart. He knew how to keep his energy at optimal levels and knew how to control the ring. And also Floyd mastered the art of head games. He was able to upset his opponents and get in their heads just enough to where he would force them to expend energy, which of course he would use to his advantage. Floyd also had the most famous defense in boxing. I call it the Floyd Philly roll. He would keep that right hand up here to block any left hooks, and then he would keep the shoulder raised a little, which would pick off any straight rights coming at him, and his uh, elbow, his right elbow, would also pick off any body shots. Floyd also had the extremely famous vertical waist movement. He would dip all the way down at the waist and then come all the way back up very quickly, but this would keep his feet planted in the same place so he would stay in the pocket the whole time. Floyd also was very, very effective at walking people down while being able to avoid and slip punches. This would drain them while he makes them miss, which would also drain them, giving him the advantage in every single category. Floyd's punches were sharp and crisp and would pile up the points while also stopping guys in their tracks and forcing them to constantly reset. Devin Haney did have a lot of similarities to Floyd. Devin Haney's defense was sharp. He employed a lot of that vertical waist movement. He also employed a lot of leg movement. He would hop in and out very quickly. He never really stayed in the pocket much. Devin seems more comfortable tying up in the pocket or getting out and always remaining in his range. Now, Devin is also a very, very fast, sharp puncher. He uses lots of reactive measures to set traps and then counter and keep his opponent constantly off balance and not knowing what's coming next. Devin has underrated speed and most of all power. This kid can crack, especially now that he's at 140 at the higher weights. Devin plays chess constantly in the ring and he's a very reactive fighter, very similar to Floyd. It looks like Devin took pieces of Floyd but then mixed it in with his own style. Do you guys see any similarities between Floyd and Devin? And who wins if Devin would have fought a prime Floyd? Tell me in the comments.